Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that Indian Air Force had ordered 40 Tejas MK1 variant in the initial and full operational clearance configuration. It includes 16 Tejas MK1 of IOC standard, 16 Tejas MK1 of FOC standard and 8 twin seater Tejas trainer jet. If we look at the delivery of these fighter jets, all 16 Tejas MK1 of IOC standard has been delivered to Indian Air Force. There is confirmation for the delivery of 6 Tejas MK1 of FOC standard as well. Back in March this year, the 14th Tejas MK1 of FOC standard was spotted flying, which means by this time HL would have completed the production of all 16 Tejas MK1 of FOC standard. Earlier, it was reported that production activity on FOC Tejas MK1 is complete but was waiting for a DAS from Israel. Now, with the completion of production of Tejas MK1 of FOC standard, HL will be progressing on the production of 8 trainer jets, which is part of the initial order. These 8 trainer jets are going to be of FOC standards. Total 18 LCA trainers are planned to be delivered by the end of financial year 2023, which does seem little challenging. Out of 18 trainers, the 10 LCA trainer jets are part of order of 83 Tejas MK1A inked during the Aero India 2021. So we have till now discussed the production timeline of 16 IOC Tejas MK1, 16 FOC Tejas MK1, 8 LCA trainer which is part of initial order and 10 more LCA trainer which is part of the recent 83 LCA MK1A order. Next. We'll talk about in detail about the development progress of remaining 73 LCA MK-1A. The Tejas MK-1A is an upgraded version of the final operational clearance or FOC configuration with 80% of detail components being the same. The delivery of Tejas MK-1A is supposed to start after three years of contract signing that is from February 2024 onwards. HL will have to deliver Indian Air Force first three aircraft in 2024 and 16 aircraft per year for subsequent five years. The Tejas MK1 manufacturing and testing will progress in parallel to speed up the process. Further, to ramp up the production, HL has also set up two additional assembly lines and all three assembly lines are operational now. Now we'll discuss in detail what is the progress on the development of Tejas MK-1A fighter. As many of you would be aware that Tejas MK-1A is to be fitted with AESA radar, electronic warfare suite that includes a jammer, the combined interrogator and transponder CIT and IFF plus system and a digital map generator. The digital map generator is designed by HAL's Mission and Combat System R&D Center, which will carry the complete map data of country and the neighboring areas. Depending upon the Tejas mission, it will extract the digitized map of current mission area and transfer it to the pilot's display where the pilot can easily access it. HL is also integrating advanced short-range air-to-air missile onto MK-1A. The ASRAN, which has a range of 60 to 70 kilometers, was bought by Indian Air Force from MBDA for upgrading its Jaguar fighters. Now, each Tejas will carry two of these missiles on its outboard stations. Another small but very important modification to Tejas MK1A involves the reshaping of the cockpit floor to enable bigger pilot with shoe size up to 10 to fit into the cockpit and fly the aircraft comfortably. Probably 90% of Indian Air Force pilots have the SU size near to 10. As per HAL Chairman, Indian Air Force has allocated HL, a Tejas MK-1 fighter numbered SP-25 or Series Production Aircraft number 25 for integrating these modifications. HL is expected to complete the development trials of Tejas MK-1A by the end of year 2023. Now, as per the latest update, this MK18 trial platform that is 
SP25 is now ready to take flight. It has been equipped with AAC radar, interrogator and electronic warfare suite. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.